Hi guys, in this video we'll tell you how to properly connect an addressable LED strip and set up the controller. The kit includes addressable LED strip, controller and remote control, power supply. Addressable LED strip is sold in three colors, cool white, natural white and warm white. This is a 5 meter kit. It includes LED strip, controller, remote control and power supply. LED strip comes in 5 meter rolls. Power supply controller control panel this is the RC1 controller this is the RB1 controller the RC1 and RB1 kits are identical, except for the control panels. I'll tell you how to connect the controller to the power supply. Connect the LED strip to the controller and configure the controller in the app. You can control the LED strip simultaneously from the remote control and from the app on your smartphone. First, connect the controller to the power supply with wires. On one side of the power supply, there are four outputs, two positive and two negative. On the other side of the power supply, there are three outputs, ground, neutral and phase. Here we connect the voltage of uh, 110 volts or 220 volts. We don't use this white connector, which is only used for test switching, and we put it aside. We take two pre-prepared wires and connect them to the plus and minus. The white connector that comes in the kit does not need to be connected, it is only for testing purposes. Connect two pre-prepared wires to these connectors. We connect the white wire to the GND minus connector. Carefully screw this connect. Red wire connects to the VCC positive connector. So, we connected two wires to the controller. The white wire is negative, the red wire is positive. I remind you that you do not need to connect the white connector. Then we connect these two wires to the power supply. Minus to minus, plus to plus. Also carefully screw these connectors on. The main thing is to take your time. Carefully check that you connected the controller to the power supply correctly. Next, we will connect the addressable LED strip to the controller. 
there is a connector at the beginning of the addressable LED strip, we cut it off. Next, we clean the contacts on the wires. The addressable LED strip has uh, three wires, white, green and red. The white wire is negative. The green wire is the DAT. It transmits the signal from the controller to the chips on the LED strip. And the red wire is positive. Next, we connect these three wires to the controller. Connect the white wire to the GND connector. This is negative. We connect the green wire to the DAT connector. It transmits the signal from the controller to the LED strip chip. The red wire of the connection to the VCC connector is positive. Before connecting the power supply to a 110 volt or 220 volt network, you need to unwind the LED strip. Since the LED strip twisted in a spiral will heat up. A very important point. There are arrows on the LED strip and they should point away from the controller. To connect the power supply to a 110 volt or 220 volt network, we take a pre-prepared wire. We connect this wire to the power supply to the L and N connectors. This is the phase and neutral. We also carefully screw the wires to the connectors on the power supply. Once again, carefully check the direct connection of the entire kit. After we have carefully checked everything, we connect our assembled kit to a 110 volt or 220 volt network. The LED strip may turn on completely or it may turn on halfway. To set up the controller and ensure the LED strip works correctly, we need to scan the QR code and download the app. You don't need to configure the controller every time, and the controller setup in the app is done only once. You can control the addressable LED strip via an app on your phone or with a remote control. The Bandline X app can be downloaded from the App Store or Play Market by scanning the QR code on the controller. Go to the downloaded application and register. Enter your email and you will receive a code. Paste the received code into this window. Next, create a password and enter it twice. Click the Add Device button and select the SP636E controller. In the window that opens, we click the solid button. Once you've entered this window, click on the settings icon in the upper right corner. 
In the window that opens, click the on slash off mode button. In the window that opens, at the very bottom, there is a pixel setting. If you connect five meters of addressable LED strip, you need to set 180 pixels. If you connect 10 meters of addressable LED strip, you need to set 360 pixels. If you connect 15 meters of addressable LED strip, you need to set 540 pixels. If you are connecting 20 meters of addressable LED strip, you need to set 720 pixels. There are 36 pixels in one meter of addressable LED strip. Once you have set the desired number of pixels, do not forget to save the settings by clicking the OK button in the upper right corner. The remote control does not come with a battery installed initially, so you will need to install one. The controller comes with instructions on how to use the remote control. The remote control is touch sensitive and very easy to use. Even a child can handle it. One remote control can control four controllers in separate zones. The LED strip can be cut every 8.5 centimeters or 3.5 inches at the marked locations. If you need to connect two or more LED strips in parallel, the arrows on the LED strip should point away from the controller. Carefully unscrew the connectors on the controller. Connect the wires together, white to white, green to green, red to red. We insert the wires into the connectors on the controller. The white wire is GND, the green wire is DAT, and the red wire is VCC. After you have connected the LED strips to the controller, check the direction of the arrows on the LED strip. The LED strips turn on and off simultaneously because we connected them in parallel. If you want to connect LED strips together, you can use connectors.
but it's better to solder the LED strips together. It will be more reliable and professional. In this video, my team and I showed how to properly connect the kit and configure the app. Thank you.